dedicate the last remaining months of my stay in the office of the president uh, going after corrupt people so that by the time na ano maminus minus na i cannot do not expect me to entirely clean as a pristine clean bureaucracy that is impossible and cannot really be uh, achievable pero as we go along our way marami na tayong talagang itong corruption uh, list of uh, Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency PDEA personnel dismissed from service number one is Julius Navales Director Administrative Holding Office Administrative of Human and Resource Service grave misconduct and conduct prejudicial to the best interest of the service dismissal uh, ang sunod si Erwin Ogario, Director 3, Administrative Holding Office, Administrative and Human Resource Service. Grave misconduct for facilitating the release of a drug suspect and for not including 500 pieces of ecstasy in the inventory of deceased doc document or evidence. Ang sunod, Sherwin Herbert Manuel, Intelligence 4, grave misconduct, prejudicial to the best interest of the service, for facilitating the release of a drug suspect and for not including 500 pieces of ecstasy in the inventory of deceased evidence. Potolin ko muna dito. Alam ba ninyo kung bakit? Do you really know na hindi naman lahat? Nare-release sa police, minsan na na-dismiss doon sa fiscal's office, o minsan mismo sa korte. Alam mo, ang naglalaro dito, alam mo, ano? Pera. I'm not saying that all of them, as a matter of fact, it will be safe to say na kukunti lang yan sila. Very few, but then they destroy the integrity of government itself. No, itong, itong mga facilitating a drug suspect, hindi naman abogado itong putang ina. Hindi ka, hindi ka, hindi ka investigador. And you facilitate the release, it could only mean money. That is why, uh, basta may pera at saka yung nadispal ko, dapat talaga must be dismissed. Itong isa kasi, si Manuel, one year without pay, pagdating sa Civil Service Commission, sabi na Civil Service, paalisin mo yan. Tama yan. And I would like to congratulate. Using the, you know, uh, the, the, uh, it's a common sense. If, if you are there, bakit kita isuspend putang? If you are, if you are bribing or you are in the take that you can be bribed, you should not be there in the service at all. Hindi ako pwede magsabi niyang i-suspend uh, lang kasi gagawa ito ng gagawa ng gagawa. So those policemen, uh, PNP, na ang mga kasalanan itong related sa drugs, pati itong pera, uh, malversation, there's only one penalty there. They should not be in government. They should be out in the streets. Ngayon, alam ko wala itong mga trabaho. But these guys are really lalo na yung tumanggap ng pera, nasanay sa korupsyon, alam na nila ang laro, gagawa itong mga paraan para mabubuhay. And the easiest uh, way to earn money is to practice the trade 
of bribery and in the releases at alam na kung paano sinong lapitan. I'm just warning you. Basta ito mga itong grave misconduct. Hindi ko ang, ang isa lang pagdating doon eh, I will if it's just a eh, wag na yung kalimutan na ninyo basta yung droga tsaka bribery kalimutan na ninyo yung yung suspension suspension hindi ako maniwala diyan paalisin kita uh, you know lahat ng administrative cases sa Justice Department, sa Executive Department of Government, Executive, Judicial, at Legislative. Dito sa, ano, dito ka sa akin. I am the last sa matumbok mo ako. Ang otos ko ngayon ito sa PAC is paalisin ito lahat. Yung lahat na nang suspended, i-modify ninyo. Uh, hindi na maniwala yung may finality sa sa final and executory. O malis kayo. Wala akong pakialam. Magdemanda ka. Kasi mo sabihin mo, tapos ka na. na, na nahiring na yung kaso mo. At iyan lang ang penalty mo. One year suspension. E sabihin ko sa iyo, that's bullshit. You get out. Demanda ka. Demanda ka. Mili ka kung saan ka gustong opisina magdemanda. Itong si Regan Silverio, intelligence officer, grave misconduct for extortion. Alam mo, basta may regulation, tandaan ninyo ito, uh, taong bayan, basta may regulation, if there is somebody given to regulate to deny or approve or do something that would make it easy for him or for the easy for him to make money and to secure the release of uh, suspected ano kasi kung hindi naman totoo bakit magbayad mo mo sabihin magpakulong kayo ng mga innocent din tao ganun magsabi ko lang drug lord tapos patayin mo malaman ko na malaman ikaw na lang ipapatay ko rin sama kayo sa imperno malaman ko nang malaman totoo lang baski anong sekreto ng transaksyon mo eh, alam ko so hindi mo matago yan you think that ikaw intelligence officer kaya mga intelligence officer binabantayan rin kayo kasi duda man ako, baka mabili ka. Kaya di ka mabili, mabuti. Uh, kaya yung ano ninyo, umalis kayo. No, the problem is, pag wala na kayong trabaho, anong gawin ninyo? So, pasok kayo dyan sa mga transaksyon na ganun. Kaya ang I'll be asking the PDEA to come up with the list of itong lahat ng mga tao in government, lalo na yung law enforcement, na kung sino yung napatanggal. Kasi may suspetsa ako, hindi lang suspetsa, sigurado ako na gagawa ito ng milagro para to continue with this nefarious activity. So bantayan ito sila. There must be a team dedicated to watch only these guys who were dismissed from the service. Itong si Hasan Muharam, administrative staff, grave misconduct for testing positive for drug use. Ito, ito yung mga ano. Sana wag na ako makahuli ng ganito. Yung hulihin ninyo isang tao, tapos uh, ipatest ninyo ng positive tapos kuna ninyo ng pera. That is extortion. Tapos, uh, you invade eh. invasive yung injection eh. Huwag lang sana, kasi 